So here is my reasons on why I think Croc is one of the best PlayStation mascots and why Croc in 2020 could really use a remaster. Croc was actually the first game that I picked up on the PlayStation 1 and it's actually the first ever 3D platformer game that I owned. The game actually sold a PlayStation 1 to me back in September 1997 when the game released. I just fell in love with the graphics completely and I just had to have it. It tipped me over the edge for needing a PlayStation 1. Now bear in mind Croc was released a year after that of Crash Bandicoot on the platform and as much as I thought Crash Bandicoot was an amazing looking game at the time it was Croc that actually pushed me over the edge and made me pick up one. From the very moment the game opens I just absolutely always have loved the game intro for Croc. It's an amazing little video cutscene. I still just remember how it drew me in, seeing Baby Croc being rescued and cared for by the Gobbos to teach him how to combat and how to walk, and the moment when Baron Dante comes in to terrorise the world of the Gobbos and to capture King Gobbo. I'll never forget the way that he decides to summon the little bird friend to whisk Croc away to safety so that Croc can then come back and help to save the Gobbos later on. It still absolutely melts my heart to this day to see Gobbos in cages and the opening cutscene just absolutely sells it. Seeing King Gobbo just almost trembling in a cage in the darkness and then the camera zooms away just leaving him behind. You just gotta play the game and go rescue the king. So Croc really captured that whole cuteness element and the characters are just so, so, so cool. Obviously Croc himself is a really sharp looking character and really was just one of my favorite PlayStation heroes. I love the way that the gobos look. I love the textures, the way that the graphics kind of captured that rough but fuzzy look just making them look a really cool unique character with their big gobbo eyes and I also really love the other characters and animals used in the game where Baron Dante turns them into bosses it's so so cool and so so cute and I love at the same time when you get to take them out the fact that they normally then revert back to their animal state it's just really really cool and I love the way that they did that so looking at the graphics, I mean Croc just blew me away when I first saw this in September of 97. I'd never seen anything that looked so great, so bright and so sharp. And I have to say it is a game that just visually really, really holds up today in 2020. Now for my capture, I've output this via HD using my PlayStation 3. And the game absolutely still looks great today. Having said that, you could play it via the original PlayStation 1 if you're using the SD inputs. The game obviously looks aged, it doesn't look so good if you're playing that through an HD TV today. So if you're picking up Croc to give that a try before we might or might not get a remaster in the future, you want to make sure that you are getting the best out of the game so it does look as good as it possibly can. Now apart from the PlayStation, you can also get this game for PC and it was also a Sega Saturn version which is something I had absolutely no awareness of at the time but for me um, I was brought up with the PlayStation version and I think the graphics on that still look great today. Now for the gameplay I think that Croc always held up well against the likes of Crash Bandicoot because it had a slightly more open area a non-linear level design where you'll be going from one area to the other area rather than just following a linear track and I think for me that's one of the things that I really liked about this game although you were kind of almost following the game through in a linear set of rooms it had that more open area feel to it and I really like that so as far as the move sets go you have your tail spin 
and you've also got a ground pound type move and you've got a load of Crocs famous uh, catchphrases such as kapow yazoo and all different things like that and I just absolutely love what they did with the sound effects on this game so you're quite often having to retrieve keys to move between different areas to unlock different caged items whether it's a switch or to actually free a gobbo um, there's six gobbos to obtain to collect and rescue in every area you normally have to rescue five in the main area and you'll need to gather the special colored crystals to be able to unlock the end of level crystal door and you'll be able to win or save the final gobbo there you sometimes get occasional mini games which were really really cool and added a real level of difficulty to the game it was something that was really unique at the time quite often it would be something that you could fail and you would have to redo the whole level rescuing the five gobos again and then beat the mini game to unlock the six gobos to be able to update your save file that you have collected them all that's something that maybe could be adjusted um, if we were to get a remake but considering the original game size of the playstation classic it kind of did add that replay value it added that challenge and you kind of really needed that because you only actually had four initial game worlds to play through and for me it just it, it added a lot more pl replayability and i got quite a lot out of this game by needing to do multiple runs of the levels as well as your overworld and underworld uh, levels there were also it made a good use infrequently of underwater level sections i think they kind of didn't overdo the use of this because the controls were, were quite hard to guide croc exactly where you wanted them to be so i think they used it quite right and just used it in small sections on the game despite how the controls worked for that when it comes to the boss fights in this game this is something that could be really really improved in a remaster or in a remake because they kind of felt somewhat a little bit bland you're normally just running around having to try to strike them with your tail when the right time came but you could really do with some sound effects to actually let you know when you've connected a hit there it was it was quite easy to take damage without knowing if you were going to actually do damage to the boss enemy or not but i think i i like the boss characters in this game but it definitely is something that that can be improved and i know it's something they did improve on in the croc 2 game also one thing that is so so masterful in croc is the music now the soundtrack in this game is just absolutely incredible. It's still today one of my favourite game soundtracks. They're so hooky and catchy and awesome and they can just get stuck in your mind for hours. It would be so so cool to get a remastered soundtrack. I don't really think they would need to do too much with the music because I think they got it so right in the original croc and I'd like to see the original soundtrack be used properly in a remake. Sound effects in Croc were really, really, really good. I mean, we mentioned that Croc has some really cool little catchphrases that he would put out every time he swipes his tail, but sometimes it's just down to some of the smaller sounds that really help add something to the reality of the game. And one thing I really, really loved is when you get to the ice and snow world in World 2, you can hear that snow crunch with every footstep and it added a real great contrast to when you then hit the ice which was really really nice and slippery and it just shows adding, adding the soundtrack of that snow then with the variance of the ice effect it just really added a real feel to a game that was quite hard to get that from with a ps1 controller where you didn't have any vibration feedback um, so the sound effect actually added quite a lot and it's something I really like and I think it's something to point out that they did really well in the game. So the controls are oh, the controls. It's, it's one negative that needs to be mentioned with that of a game that was fairly early developed on the PS1 but something that was really hard to get right being such an early developed 3D game. It's something that really really has room for improvement for a remake. So one thing to note is when you're playing Croc, you can play that with your normal PlayStation 1 uh, digital controller, which uses the D-pad, which obviously would replicate and be the same using your PS3. But do note to get the best from the game, 
if you've got the dual analog stick controller, if you've got a DualShock, do be sure to change the game setting. You do that by holding down the PlayStation menu button and you can swap over the controller from digital to analog and it will let you use those joysticks on the controller and it handles so much better. I think it improves the movement and the control. However, the controls do feel slightly tankish still and it kind of adds to a difficulty with different angles and the way that the camera is fixed or tries to fix itself behind you. It can make some of the platforming extremely difficult, especially with a slightly harder level like World 2-2 in the Ice Snow World where it really, you really kind of start to notice that um, the camera angles with the controls do make it quite difficult, but it adds quite a good challenge. If you're playing it now in 2020, it makes it a lot more simple than just hopping from one area to the next, because you, you really kind of need to get a feel for the game, and I just think that's something that was really cool. The game had a clever use of actually using the circle button to help improve the movement. So a tap of the circle button would flip crop around 180 degrees, or you could flip around midair whilst running, and that just really, really helped, especially where you're on a rotating platform. You could utilize a tap of circle to flip him around 180, and it will make it a lot easier for making your jump. Or also just for getting out of situations where it would make it quite difficult with the controls to be able to turn around. So I think it's fine. It takes a little getting used to. I mean, for me, the controls on Croc kind of add to the whole retro feel. And I kind of love the game even more for what it is. It, it does feel quite unique. Although I'd like to see it be improved in a remake, um, Croc 1 will just always be classic for me. Yes, mate.